Hello, fellow mathematicians. Today, I will be talking about trigonometric identities, specifically trying to prove trigonometric identities. Are you looking at this? To understand how to prove trigonometric identities, we must know what are trigonometric identities. Yes, I keep saying it so you guys can keep it in your head. Trigonometric identities in mathematics they are equalities that involve trigonometric functions and are true for every value of the occurring variables for which both sides of the equality are defined. In simpler terms, it means both sides of the equations are true because they are equal. What is the use of trigonometric identities? How are they used in real life? A lot of stuff, actually. Trigonometric identities are used to find how much of a certain material is needed in order to construct something like a building, cars or desks, benches, chairs, you name it. Anything related to architecture and engineering, trigonometric identities are involved and are used. So there you have it. I would first like to show you the three common and basic identities. First, we have the reciprocal identity. These are identities in which the equality of relation occurs by swapping or interchanging the numerator and the denominator of a number pair of functions or numbers, when they are multiplied together, they are equal to 1. Here's an example. If you were to multiply cosecant theta by sine theta, it would be equal to 1. That's what reciprocal identity means. Next is quotient identities. These are identities that make use of division from the word quotient. Basically, you can find the functions just by dividing the other equations, such as tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. If you were to find sine theta, just multiply tangent theta by cosine theta. If you wanted to find cosine theta, it would be sine theta divided by tangent theta. It's as easy as transposing the values. Next is the Pythagorean identity. It may look hard, but it's actually simple. Do you remember the equation of a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared? That's basically how it works. Except, you know, you replace those variables with these functions and values. So, for example, here we have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. You can refer to that, transpose numbers if you wanted to find, like, for example, cosine theta. If you wanted to find cosine theta, that would be cosine theta is equal to 1 minus sine theta. I've been stalling for so long, let's get on with the actual thing. We will now try to prove trigonometric identities. The first problem I'd like to tackle is cosecant squared y is equal to 1 plus, open parenthesis, 1 over tangent y times 1 over cosecant y divided by 1 over cosecant y, close parenthesis, to the power of 2. Now, I must, I know you might be thinking, how is cosecant squared y equal to this monstrosity? Let's take it step by step. Step 1. It is really recommended to find the more complex side and simplify it, rather than finding the simplest side and making it as complex as possible. The goal of the next steps would be to simplify the right-hand side until it is as simple as the left side. So let's move on to step 2. Grab your notes that I shared to you a few seconds ago because we will be making use of the identities. For step 2, we will apply the reciprocal identity to change the numerator 1 over tangent y and 1 over cosecant y to cotangent y and sine y respectively. So here you can see the equation. It's you, you started off by simplifying the numerator. So now it looks simpler, right? Step 3 is, again, we will apply the reciprocal identity to change the denominator 1 over cosecant y to sine y. Step 4. We will apply the quotient identity. Where will we apply it to? Well, you notice in the numerator, cotangent y times sine y. If you were to grab your table and try to transpose some values there, you will notice that cotangent y times sine y is actually equal to cosine y. We're close. We're really close. Look how small it is. Step 5. We will apply the quotient identity again to change cosine y divided by sine y. So basically, we are changing, we are simplifying the entire value within the parenthesis. So cosine y over sine y. I would like you to look at the table. Tell me what is cosine y over sine y equal to. That's right. Cosine y over sine y is equal to cotangent. Now you must be asking, why is there a cotangent squared y over there? Well, remember the power of 2 outside the parenthesis? Well, now you 
apply it. You just make it cotangent squared y. And that gives you 1 plus cotangent squared y. One last step. Look at your Pythagorean identity. And what is 1 plus cotangent squared y equal to? I mean, the answer is literally right there. It is equal to cosecant squared y. And there you have it. Write it down. Cosecant squared y is equal to cosecant squared y. Congratulations, you proved it. Let's give you a round of applause. See how simple that was? Just take it step by step. Find variables and values that you can simplify and transpose to make it, you know, easier for you to understand. Don't be intimidated by really big numbers, but also don't underestimate it because, you know, that could lead you to carelessness. And yeah, that's, that's basically how proving works. Make use of the identities to simplify and find a way to make the value to prove that the value is equal or true to the other equation. I will give you another problem to solve. Take a screenshot or write it down in your notebook, whichever you prefer. And same thing, apply the steps and the, the identities that I told you, that I educated you, and take it step by step. Don't rush. If you have any questions, be sure to just comment down below or you know reach out to me. I will try my best to answer your questions. I hope you learned something today and enjoy the video. If you want to answer harder questions, you can always search up in the internet. Or if you want simpler ones, you can also search that up, really. And I will lead you to our next professor, Dr. Martin, who is also a genius in math. Why the basic ones? Because I don't understand the rest. <laughs>